Hello lovies, welcome back. I'm going to be finishing this last little section of the diamond painting. Don't worry, I will be speeding it up because this does take a while. Um, I just wanted to show it to you. Um, here I am loading up the pen again. So the kit comes with the painting, the canvas. It comes with that putty, pink putty glue, which I'm loading. And the pen has that one side which picks up one bead and then the other side which picks up three beads. It also comes with the green tray. Sometimes it's a white tray. It comes with all the diamonds or as they're called drills. So it comes with everything that you need. That little container you see there, I bought that as an extra so I can sort all the beads and be more organized. And um, sometimes they include some Ziploc bags but I got extra because once I finish the painting, I want to separate all the beads to be more organized. So I will be speeding up this video. Don't worry. But I just wanted to show you how easy it was to do. You just pick up the drills and place them on the correct symbol. And on the side, you can see there that each color has its symbol on the canvas. It's as easy as painting by numbers, except you're doing it with the little diamonds or the little beads. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe and comment below. And I'm going to be speeding up the video so it's quicker for you to enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, lovies. I'll catch you on the next video. Stay safe. Be kind. but he was actually working at a site in Dickinson at the actual construction site. But on May 24th of 2012, 
his mother would go to drop him off at work to install those water mains that he was doing at the construction site, but she would drop him off at Bismarck, and there he would carpool with his friends to the actual site, or I guess his co-workers, I really shouldn't say his friends. So him and his mother exchanged I love yous, goodbyes, he said he'd talk to her later, just normal stuff, but his mother did not realize that that would be the last time that she would talk to her son. When Eric didn't return home that evening, his family began calling his friends, seeing if they could see where he was, and he was nowhere to be found, and nobody had a clue, and that is when they reported him as missing after trying to call his cell phone, and he wasn't answering as well. And Eric was the type that was adventurous, always looking for a new adventure. He would go kayaking, cliff jumping, whatever it was, he was outgoing, and that's why he had a lot of friends to call and talk to. Everything he did, he was always wanting to move forward in life, and that is why his parents said he was actually looking for a new job, because he had a new family, he had a fiance, he had a daughter, and he just wanted to give them an even better life, so he was looking for a new job. But the time he disappeared, he was working at a construction site with a group of six men. And after he went missing, they of course were interviewed about what had happened that day. And according to co-workers, Eric was asked to seal a leak in the pipe after lunch that day. They all went out to fast food to eat, and then he was asked to seal it afterwards. They checked the phone records, and Eric's phone showed that at 12.04 p.m., he checked his voicemail for the family. They also checked the co-workers' phones, and they found that one that was doing the backfilling had actually taken a call at about 12.14, which had lasted five minutes. But the odd thing about this was the same person was also saying that at that time, they were loading dirt into the hole and could not have been on their phone. The whole crew said they began to backfill it around 12.15, and the next phone call they could find was from the foreman's phone. This foreman had called Eric's phone at around 1.13, after they realized he was gone. Now this woman said that before any of this happened, the foreman had called down to Eric to talk to him about sealing the leak. And then it was almost like they completely forgot about him until after they were done and called him at 1.13. However, at the So here is the finished diamond painting my first one i really really enjoyed it it was very very relaxing for me the first day i did this i spent seven hours at the table <laughs> doing this and i didn't get very far but it's taken me about what a week to finish this one and this one didn't have a ton of colors you can see the background is all white um you can see that it sparkles i don't know if you if, that catches on camera or not but it does have some sparkle to it and i love it it's not perfect like i said this was my first one and these aren't even um i don't care look at how pretty it looks look at all the details it looks like um the picture on amazon they, they look the darker sections do look like little flowers and petals and stuff i absolutely love it my husband ordered me another one, <laughs> so I will be starting that. I love it. I love it. This one I got from Amazon. It's called, what is it called? It's called Lavender Wedding Dress, and you can see it here. And it's a 40 by 50 centimeter. That's the item number. It was $15. And here's the color code. Now, if any of you do cross-stitching, um, you know, cross-stitching with the threads, these are the same colors. For cross stitching as they are for these diamonds or they call them drills so they're either called diamonds or drills sometimes i call them beads it's just easier but so each color has its own symbol this tells you the amount of color so there's 24 colors in this one and that's the number that's on the bag and this is the symbol that's on the canvas for you to follow and it tells you how many beads there are. Some of them, I've been watching videos, only have the number and the symbol. Um, so then you kind of have to 
look at the bag and look at the number on the bag. Because sometimes they don't list the number here, just on the bag. But then you can kind of figure that out. So I really, really, really enjoyed this. I can't wait to do the other one. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe and be kind. Bye, lovies.